Hi, I'm Jason from O10 Western Sydney Institute, the largest provider of online and distance education and training for TAFE New South Wales. O10 has created a series of how-to videos on site surveying using a level. Today we're at the Narimba campus demonstrating the use of a level with head teacher David. Hi, you, Dave. Hi, Jason. So, what are we going to be going through today? Jason, today I'm going to demonstrate the setup and use of the automatic level commonly used on building sites. Great. Well, I'll leave you to it then. Thank Thanks. you. Okay, the automatic level is one levelling instrument used on a building site and there's basically three components in its use. There's the automatic level itself, the tripod on which it sits, and when we take a reading, that's to the staff. Um, I'm now going to demonstrate the setup of the level and first we're going to place the tripod. Tripods come in two types. Firstly, there's this one, the dome top, and there's also a flat top. With the automatic level, we generally use a dome top tripod. The tripod legs have to be placed firmly in the ground, and we try and keep the top of the tripod level. The instrument's then removed from its case and placed on top of the tripod and it's fixed by a screw from underneath. So we can level the instrument using the dome top by loosening the screw and just moving it over the dome top until the bubble is in the middle of the circle. In the event we can't level it on the dome top, then we have to use the levelling screws. To do that, we need to place the axis of the telescope parallel to the line between two levelling screws. Then by turning the levelling screws both in or both out, never in the same direction, we bring the bubble adjacent to the centre of the circle. We then rotate the instrument 90 degrees and use the third levelling screw to bring the bubble into the middle of the circle. We can then check just by rotating the instrument around to a few locations to check that the bubble remains in the circle. These are the features of the automatic level. First we have the telescope which contain the optics for the level, the eyepiece which we view through and within those we have some crosshairs. This is the focus screw to bring our target into a focus and here we have a fine adjustment or fine tangent screw to make very small adjustments to the direction of the level. Sitting on here we have the bullseye level which we level the instrument to and here we have a prism which allows us to view that bullseye target from the horizontal direction. The automatic level is a sensitive piece of equipment which must be cared for. The instrument can't be dropped and must be transported in its case well secured. When setting up the level, ideally you will set it up at eye height, not as I'm demonstrating now where I have to stoop down to read through the level. When moving around the instrument, be careful not to place any pressure or put your weight on the tripod legs. This will push the level out of adjustment. And when moving around the tripod, make sure we don't trip over the legs. And even placing pressure on soft ground adjacent to one of the legs may cause the instrument to go out of level. Thanks, Dave. So what we've just seen is setting up the tripod, placing the instrument, and then levelling the instrument. So what are we going to see next, Dave? Jason, now I need to show you how to take a reading through the instrument. 